Life is full of twist and turns. Life is full of twist and turn. Twist and turn. Twist and turns. We are the children of God. Twist and turns. Twist and turns. Life is full of twist and turns. Smart do. Welcome on Smart Edu platform. I am Paul. We're going to take you through very interesting area known as the physical features in Africa. And remember, as I take you through the physical features in Africa, is that physical features are the landforms that are found on the earth's surface. Some of them are physical, others are drainage features. And therefore, physical features can either be classified into relief features, into what we call the relief features, relief features, the leaf fissures are large forms, large forms. They can also be drainage fissures, drainage fissures. So when I'm talking about physical fissures, I'm referring to this. Drainage fissures are those that are associated with water body, water bodies. We would classify many of them. And to start with, I'll start with the relief fissures that we are likely to get on the earth surface. The relief fissures. What large forms do you see in your area? One, you have seen plateaus. Two, you have seen mountains and highlands. Highlands are meaning mountains or hills. You have also seen basins. Then from there, we can now get deeper to discuss the drainage features, the drainage. The drainage. From this, I'll extract more features. You can start with the swamps, you can mention of the lakes, oceans and seas and rivers, oceans. All this, when discussed, we are talking about the physical environment, the physical fishes. Now, welcome for a topic through. The formation, the, not the formation, but just examples. Then after this, we look at the formation. We have the plateaus. What is a plateau? And how does the pla how do plateaus look like? A plateau is simply a, a, a flat and laced land. This is what I mean. Others will call it a table land. Table land. It is formed after an eruption occurs and that eruption that took place long time and the magma did not solidify immediately. It, it took, it spread over a long, a long service, a light service and then it formed very hard rocks. Most of the plateaus have hard and old rocks. And once we blow in these plateaus, you see other fissures forming that I have not mentioned. We plateaus have said they have very old rocks. So at times, some materials, some rock materials are, are swept or are eroded by forces, by agents of erosion. But some Materials resist erosion. We call them some residues the, from the word remains. They don't, they resist the erosion. Therefore, they form on plateaus. We call them residual mountains. But now, to give a few of the plateaus in Africa, I find it well to start by drawing a simple sketch showing the map of Africa. That is a simple sketch showing the map of Africa. There is a plateau here that is in Guinea. This plateau 
is a large area that is laced, we call it the faulted jargon. Faulted jargon. Faulted jargon player two. We also have another plateau here where we have the Adamawa Highlands. There is a plateau inside here in Nigeria known as the Jaws Plateau. We also have the Bia Plateau here in Congo. And we have the largest plateau in Eastern Africa, the largest plateau known as Nika Plateau. Then we can have simple small plateaus in Sudan. We have the Teiga and we have the Jebel Abia. Those are simple, some of the examples. Just to take you through, by plateau, Bia Plateau in Congo, Jos in Nigeria, Fort Jaron in Guinea, Nika in East Africa. Taiga and Jaber in Sudan. We have looked at simple plateaus. We go to the other physical fissure and look. I'm combining, I'm combining both drainage and relief fissures. Let me take you through the rivers in Africa. Just a few rivers. Rivers in Africa. When I'm talking about rivers in Africa, they are those that are seasonal, that are only found um, established during a rainy season, and they are those that flow throughout the year. These rivers are main. They are those that they, all rivers have a source and a mouth. A source is the origin, and the mouth is the end of a river. So, most of the rivers end either in a lake, a large water body such as a lake or an, an ocean. And therefore, I have rivers here. I have the first river here, known as Senegal. I'll list them, number one, Senegal. Then there is River Gambia. There is River Volta. You would identify River Volta because it looks like R with another simple tributary there. This is River Volta. It has three tributaries. We call them Black Volta, White Volta, and Oti. But to make learners understand, we say buy white only, but don't try that at home. Buy white only. Black Volta, White Volta, and Oti. Then from there, you have another river here that can only be identified because it has two tributaries and it is in Nigeria. It has a tributary known as the Nu. This river is known as Niger. River Niger. Niger. Then we have another river here that has several tributaries. It occupies the central part of Africa. It carries the, the largest volume. It's known as River Congo. River Congo. Then we have another one here known as Kwanza. We also have another one known as Kuneme here. And the last one that ha looks also that which has a tributary, we call it River Orange. All these are rivers draining in the Atlantic Ocean. Just to mention them, make you understand, we have one was Senegal. I like using the word Seme. Then number two is River Gambia. Senegal. Then we have We have River Volta, we have River Niger, we have River Congo, we have Kwanza, we have Kunene, and we have Orange, as I have drawn them, although you draw better than this. So that you may not forget, we can have a simple song. Seme, Seme Gambia, Riva Volta Niger, Riva Congo Kwanza, Seme Orange are the rivers being in the Atlantic. So for you to memorize, as I train you the tune, we say Seme for Senegal. We will make Riva Volta for the tune to lie, eh? so we say Seme. 
Have a good day. 